extremely grueling. It was just a game that had so many storylines. We we felt like we were in a great position, and we made a couple errors at the end of the game. You know, we you know Roth gave us 90, 91 pitches. We had to match up with Taylor. Uh, we booted a ball, and then Price is back out there. We booted another ball and give them a chance to extend the game. And um, you know that's part of it sometimes. But there was so much going on in the game. We we had opportunities to end it. They had opportunities to have big innings, and we were able to dodge some bullets. It was uh, certainly a great game. You ever see one go through Mooney's legs like that? Never, never have seen one like that. That ball just stuck down. It did not come up at all. Normally, it'll come up a little bit, but um, I, I hadn't seen I hadn't seen that in practice or anything. It just uh, that's thank goodness that's a rarity for us. Just how relieved are you to get it over tonight? Because you went with Roth with the idea of getting it over tonight, so you could concentrate on Monday. Well. You know, a lot of things go into that, but Roth needed to pitch tonight. I mean, he needed to pitch. You, you don't want to, if he's ready to go, which he was, he should be pitching. Plus, it gives you a chance to turn him around now. We'll get a chance to use him in that next series, but uh, uh, he, he did a great job. You know, he pitched extremely well, and uh, I hated that, that I didn't leave him in, kind of, but the other guys made pitches. We just didn't make plays. 14 straight wins now coach in the, in the tournament. Is it at a point now where the confidence of this team is that no matter what situation, no matter how the game is going, do you guys feel you're going to win? Well, I don't know if we, we feel like we're going to win necessarily, but we feel like we're going to have a chance. These guys... They understand we don't throw our gloves out. We're not we're not a team that's going to put up eight runs. We just feel like we'll have a chance to win. And uh, you know, when they tied up the game late, we said, okay, this is we've been here before. You know, we've been in some of these. Let's figure out a way to push one across. And uh, that's just from experience. Guys have been around a lot, been in a lot of close games. Uh, it doesn't mean you're going to win, but it makes you feel like you're going to have a chance because you've been there so much. What do you say to Adrian after the night like he had his point? Um, you know, he, he kept he kept trying to get up there to end the game, and uh, you know he almost stuck a couple in there and wasn't able to do it. But he was uh, he was disappointed. I let Walker swing away. He wanted him to bunt so he'd have a chance to end the thing. So that's all you need to say. I mean, really, he he despite maybe not getting a couple of runners across, he wanted to be up there once again. Pretty much summed it up in there. I was wondering if maybe you can touch on it again, just how special this run has been and, and back to the national championship series. It's just um, very, very difficult to be in this position. It doesn't matter, you know, which which school you're talking about. It's hard to get to the World Series, to get through your regions or super regionals, and to get back in the the championship series again is just an incredible accomplishment for these players. It's uh, I'm, I'm just happy to be a part of it. It's it's very very difficult to do, and you know we we get we got back in it for the second year in a row. It's tremendous. Ray, how special was it that Adam Matthews got to play a part in this after his season started off so well and he got hurt? Yeah, that that's really neat. You know, he and I talked throughout the game. Marzilli was having some problems early on, so I kept telling him to make sure he was ready to go. He might get a pinch hit, but I, I told him you're probably going to be in there at some point. I kept telling him you're going to run for Brady, and finally that situation came about. And uh, you know he can run, so <clears throat> would he been out a second? Probably so, but he forces you when you run. You force plays. They're not comfortable plays because you got speed on the base pass, and looked like he's going to probably be safe at third anyway. But you know it just it speaks volumes about about him. Here's a guy that played, didn't get to play, was hurt. Now he hasn't been able to get back in there, but he was ready to go, help us win the game. How about the Gators? Um, outstanding. I mean, they're it's as good as it gets. I mean, they they scuffled in their bullpen today. They gave up four runs. That's not much of a scuffle, really, is it? Mm -hmm. But uh, they've, they've just been clicking on all cylinders. They've been swinging the bat, playing defense, pitching, pitching galore. So it's... Uh, uh, but we get to play, so we'll see what happens. Any surprise to you? It comes down to two SEC East teams. It's crazy. I mean, you even even though you know Vandy and, and the Gators and us, we've kind of been there from start to finish. You don't know that you're going to be here at the end. You know, you can battle in your conference, and and um, lo and behold, here we are. So third year in a row, the SEC is going to win one. Ever had a pitcher with that many bases loaded situations in one game? And keep I coming can't. Out? I can't remember that ever happening. I, I just uh, it was whatever it was, three or four, and we were able to get out of it. it was just uh, very unusual that you're able to do that. We, he got himself in some trouble. They got some hits, and then we were able to make some pitches and roll a couple of double plays and the line drive. Um, it's a crazy game sometimes. If you could pick any guy to have in that situation, would he be right up there? Matt Price, yeah. absolutely. He. You know, he's been, I said in the press conference, he, he's, he's been in that situation time and time again, especially for the last two years. It doesn't matter if it's a midweek game 
or if it's a weekend series in the SEC. He's been out there with the game on the line in many, many times, and he's been able to survive it. And I don't know how he did this one tonight, but he was able to get out of it. Can you foresee Matt being available at all for you Monday night if you needed to uh, get prob out Probably a long shot, but but he, he will train, and he'll be well-conditioned, and um, I, I will I – will, Try to talk him out of that, you know. But we'll see how he goes the next couple of days. It's, you know, it's funny if, if Matt doesn't sign with the Diamondbacks, he's probably going to be a starter for us next year. And this was his uh, debut tonight. He, <laughs> he threw more pitches than Michael Roth threw. So uh, I said, "Do you think you like this?" Or you know, he said, "I don't know about all this, all these pitches." But uh, it's uh, very unusual that you have a bullpen guy throw more than a starter.